And you thought I liked leopard print. Greetings, sex lovers. Welcome or welcome back. Here we believe in intentional luxury and we're not afraid to invest in pieces that will work for us. So if that resonates with you, then please consider subscribing and stay a while. One of my favorite videos that I've shared so far in my channel is the one about my leopard print obsession. And today I'm going to go down a similar track to share with you a similar theme that I am absolutely obsessed with anything croc. And today I'm going to go through my entire croc collection. And we're talking real croc and faux croc, and it's everything and anything from handbags, accessories, shoes, furniture, you name it, it's in here. I'm also going to be doing a recent unboxing from the Veronica Beard store where I went for a charity event. And then I'm going to end by sharing what I'm eyeing on my wish list and also talk about some amazing croc gift ideas that I found. As the holidays are just around the corner and I'm starting to think about what to gift and what to ask for. So let's begin. We have a jam-packed agenda today, so I'm actually going to probably go through my items a little bit faster than normal, but we'll start with the shoe category. And the first item are these flats from LK Bennett. LK Bennett is a brand that I don't hear a lot about on YouTube, but it's a British brand and I love them. And as you can see, these are these beautiful, almost like maroon croc flats. And they have the beautiful pointy toe, flats are back, but I love these. And I'll also put on the screen some mod shots of me wearing these flats. And these would just go with anything. Next in shoes is an exciting addition. And these are my croc boots. And these are from the brand Paris, Texas. I'll insert some mod shots of me wearing these. I felt like the heel is extremely reasonable and it's these beautiful brown faux croc finish. And as I've mentioned in my recent boot unboxing of the Hermes short jumping boots, you'll probably see how these line up on my legs because these are not obviously for shorter people. But I bought these envisioning that I would wear them underneath like a nice sweater dress that was long. And I just love this purchase for a fancy night out. I have shared on my channel at length that my absolute favorite collection of really probably any brand is the Chanel 19A collection. And that is the Metier Dar collection, which was the Egypt meets New York concept. And back in 2019, when that hit stores, I went around and scooped up so many pieces that I use to this day. So I'll go through them. First is this beautiful O case and it is in the gold faux croc material and it's your typical O case configuration. Honestly, I don't use this a whole lot because I haven't quite cracked, you know, the best way to use an O case, but like you can't go wrong. It just has ironically so many use cases that I just haven't chosen one. The next item from that collection, similarly, is this Chanel zip around wallet. And like I said, if I like something, I just keep on collecting it. And here is an example of the Chanel case in here, but it has these three compartments. It has the CC in the front, and I just can't get enough of this material. And then a little luxury that I literally use every single day since 2019 has been my Chanel card holder in again that same gold croc. It's funny because you can see, maybe you can see, how dull this one is compared to the other shiny ones that I don't use as much. But this one has literally been probably the only card holder I've had for four years now that I think of it. So I'll put it side by side, but you can kind of see how. I mean, I feel like the gold has held up well, but it's definitely not as shiny as this one, which just sits in a drawer. But this one is like in my pockets, in my purses. Um, I actually feel like while we can see that it's less shiny, it has held up really well. So this one has been put to good use, so much so that I'm almost thinking about getting a backup because this one will one day just be, you know, in tatters. And then my last item, which I'll share in here, and it is from the costume jewelry line. And it is my Chanel Croc brooch in the black enamel and the yellow gold looking hardware. So this is absolutely beautiful. I, again, don't use this as much as I wish I did, but I just love this motif. And actually that might look quite good if I just put it with this, with my little gold necklace. And just so you know, this is my 
St. John's knitwear. I love this for like a comfortable but elevated look when you want a blazer, but you want the feel of a sweater. So I'll link them below. Uh, but this would go quite well, especially with the gold and pearl details here. And when it comes to furniture, I'll share a picture on the screen. But back in 2016, I bought this beautiful black faux croc vanity. And I got it from guilt.com. And I just think it's super luxurious. And it's where I put all of my makeup, my mirror, and also where I work when I work from home. So it's definitely like my power place. And of course from Hermes is my beloved Cape Cod watch with the crocodile straps in gris pearl. Love this with the diamond accents on the side. And if you're enjoying yourself so far, I'd love for you to consider subscribing. I love pulling together these types of themed videos, which are a mixed bag of show and tells, unboxings, and wish lists. So if you enjoy that too, I'd love to have you be part of our Lux Loving community. All right, now let's get to the bag. The first bag I'll share is in this dust bag, and it is my Givenchy. Antigona faux croc bag in the size small. This has been featured on my channel many a time and I just love this bag. It has the big chunky zipper and the strap is on the inside, but I am just so happy whenever I use this. You can have the Givenchy out on the outside or you can turn it around. It keeps its structure perfectly I just feel like a million bucks when I use this. The champagne gold and the black look beautiful together. This might be a first appearance on the channel. My next bag is this, and it is my mini Sutton clutch in chalk crocodile. And this is from, if you can see, Tiffany and Company. These bags are many years old, and I will link to a purse bop article, which I think is probably the best reference for an overview of these bags. You can see it's still stuffed but this is real croc and it feels extremely durable. It kind of has this handle that can pop up with the gold hardware. It probably could use a little bit of a shine from my polishing cloths. But if we get up close, hopefully you can see the Tiffany and Company, but this color goes with anything. It definitely has Kelly Pochette vibes with this type of top handle that can flatten out. And then here we go. I do not use this as much as I would like, but it's such a cute clutch. I could also see myself taking like a chain and wrapping it through so I could make that a crossbody. but this would be a great cocktail bag and it is fully leather lined. My next bag I featured in my Big Bag Energy video and it is my Tiffany & Company Peyton bag, again in that chalk crocodile. Now we're getting into the realm of actual croc. So I'll bring you in for a close up. You can see that Tiffany and Company stamp right in the middle, but this to me is the epitome of quiet luxury. And what's nice about this bag is I've actually never babied it, but the handles are great and it has this beautiful top zipper. It still has all the stuffing in it and again, fully leather lined and it has this great front pocket that you could easily slip your Metro card or your wallet or your phone. But this bag definitely needs to get more use from me and I just treasure it. All right, now let's turn to the unboxing. Like I said, last night I went to a charity event at the Veronica Beard store. So first we'll open up this and as you can see, it's a pair of shoes. We have a little bit of the paper and it is the Penny Loafer Heel in Black Croc. So let me take them out for you. Here they are. These are so awesome that when I saw them in the store, I was immediately drawn to them and they were just so beautiful. They actually come with a little coin already in there and that's Veronica Beard's like little symbol on a coin. And these are just preppy but on trend with, with the loafer style and they were just so perfect because I was wearing just a traditional black dress and tights and these looked very fashionable. And I have to say these were extremely comfortable. I'm super sensitive to high heels and this block heel, I was able to walk in all night. So I'll put, also put some mod shots of me wearing these, but I cannot wait to wear them season after season and also to wear them just like with jeans at work. And then my second purchase, which is a little off topic, but it is related to the channel, which I'll share with you today. At the event, they offered free embroidery. 
so I definitely took advantage of that. And here we have, again, I am a sucker for a good denim shirt. And this one is called the Dalton Puff Sleeve Top. And as you can see, it's a beautiful denim shirt, but it has these like um, elastic cinches around the elbow and around the wrist. And I will put some mod shots of me trying this on. It was basically love at first sight, but I'll show you the embroidery that I wanted to share with you. And as you can see, I had them embroider BLL with a heart. So this is my Beauty Lux Lover shirt with a little heart. It will always remind me of this year working on my channel. So I love this. And it's also subtle enough that I feel like I could wear it to work if I wanted to. And next I'll talk a little bit about my wish list and I have some visuals that I'll share with you. First, I've always been eyeing these croc pieces from YSL or Saint Laurent. They have a very cute bucket bag. I always have loved the sac du jour look and these croc heels have always been calling my name. I love my Antigona tote so much that I see that they have this Nano Antigona in the tan croc. So it's not outside the possibility that I will add a smaller version of that croc bag to my collection. Next, we actually are looking at Dior. And this is a brand, admittedly, that I don't talk a lot about on this channel. And I've never been a huge fan of the canage pattern, the quilting pattern on the Lady Dior bag. But I did see this picture of Princess Diana, who obviously loved that bag. She's holding in this picture a croc version. And so I looked it up. There are some of these versions still available on the secondhand market at basically a decent price. So I feel like those would be the ones if I were to go to Dior that I would also look at. But how amazing is that bag? Next on my list is basically anything else from that Chanel 19A collection. As a collector, I'm always on the lookout for different pieces. I already see that there are some out there. There's this wallet. There's this um, large tote bag with the chain handles. And that looks like it could be really good for commuting. And also this other gold croc bag. I'm always looking out for pieces like that. Maybe something like the walk, the rectangular mini, or even the vanity case. Next thing I'm eyeing are these Hermes shoes. And these are the Hermes deep sneaker in Blanc and Naturel. I really like the fact that there's a little bit of croc on the sneaker and I really like that tan color, so beautiful. And of course at Hermes, something I would love to add to my collection is a Birkin Touch, which is part croc and then part leather. And also I think that the croc Kellys are just so beautiful, even vintage. And gift giving season is just around the corner. So I've rounded up some croc items that I've had my eye on for myself and for my loved ones. I'll link these down below, but I'm also going to wait to see if there are Black Friday deals. So if there are Black Friday sales, I will be sure to update the information in the description box. And these are all coming from the brand Aspinall of London, which I know a lot of other YouTubers talk about. And it is a very reputable brand. And I think it just has some really beautiful croc accessories, which no one seems to be talking about. So I'll cover them here. First is this croc card holder. And it's a great option if you liked my card holder and, and it's obviously discontinued. This I think would be a really great alternative if you want a little bit of croc in your daily routine. Similarly, this next item is exactly like my zip around purse. Um, it's not in gold, it is in green, and there may be some other colors as well. They also have this cosmetic case, and even though green croc is a little bit on the nose, I think it's kind of cool, so I'm not above green croc anything. This cosmetic case would be great for travel. Also, really practical item would be this croc glasses case, whether or not it's sunglasses or reading glasses by your nightstand, it just really elevates this day-to-day -day item. Then, as we're talking about gifting for others, maybe a hubby or a boyfriend that likes to have accessories, I thought this was a really nice cufflinks box as a gift. Again, it's croc and it can organize basically anything in there. Then we get down to this beautiful croc watch box. And again, these are faux croc items, but this was just really handsome. And if you're a watch lover, I, I could see you wanting to put your watches into something like this for organization. Then we have a tote bag that they have called the London Tote. And this looks exactly like my Chanel Executive Surf Tote, but in croc. So it's even better. I think this would be perfect for work. And I'm also including pictures here of some croc handbags that Aspinall of London has. And they're even starting to play with like the ombre effect, which I really enjoy. And I think that is super cool looking. And then these are also some gift ideas that have a little croc details. I really like this handbag hook, that's super useful. The letter rack, very utilitarian. 
and then they call this the handbag tidy all, but it's basically like a little crock box that you could just put in your handbag for all your essentials. So thank you to those who've stayed with me to the end. I'd love to know in the comments if you decide to pick up any of these items. And I'd also love to know who else out there is a croc lover like me. I welcome you to follow me on Instagram if you'd like to see more of how I incorporate my croc items in my day to day and other luxury moments. If you've enjoyed this video, I invite you to go down the rabbit hole that is my luxury curation playlist and I'll put that link here. Please like it if you liked it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!